Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for February to March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first oracle card. So what do we have for Sagittarius please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarius. Thank you, there you go, the card is out. We have, oh wow, <laughs> We have the night. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice was going then. We have the night. Triumph over adversity. Conquering. Some conquest. Victory. Yeah, lovely energy. In tarot, the, the knights can represent change. So it's a lovely energy of change here. Change coming your way. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, angels? What is the message for Sagittarius? Money and career only, thank you. Okay. So I have dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they, are, they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. I mean, this is also a card from me of dare to dream, follow your dreams. If you're losing sight of hopes, dreams and wishes, this card is reminding you to focus on them now. Don't lose faith, don't lose hope. It's a lovely energy because there is some conquest or victory here change by your own actions okay so let's pull the overarching energy please for money and career for Sagittarius angel spirits guides in money and career February to March 2021 thank you what do we have for Sagittarius oh wow <laughs> the knight of coins I mean I love this for money and career readings very, very nice energy indeed. Okay, another night as well. Okay, Sagittarius, so I'm going to pull five cards. The first card is the current challenge or issue in money and career. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's going against you, any obstacles to overcome. Fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is the final outcome. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius, thank you. Okay, so we have your challenge, the hanged man. I love it with the hanged man because we have the Ace of Swords, which again is a card of victory. Uh, also a card of breakthroughs, that's what's going for you. The Knight of Swords is what's against you. The Queen of Wands is advice from spirit. And the, the Empress, wow, beautiful. The Empress is the outcome. Bottom of the deck we have the Two of Coins. Okay. So the message here is there is going to be some triumph over adversity. Don't lose sight of those hopes, dreams and wishes. Again, you're being guided through your intuition and dreams. And then we have this Knight of Coins. He is wonderful change. Um, the Knight is the deliverer of the opportunity. So this is somebody offering you the opportunity, offering you a contract, a client win, um, new business win new jobs you know that kind of energy new partnerships incoming money call it what you will very much connected to abundance but it's what's getting you back on track so generally when the knight of pentacles appears you have might have been struggling in terms of money and there is an opportunity to get back on track with this offer opportunity someone making you an offer giving you some kind of opportunity and it is to do with your money, career, finances. So I love this energy for that reason. Um, getting back on track. 
For some of you, Sagittarius, I mean, there's a number of reasons why we would be in the hanged man energy in the challenge position. Um, we come across the hanged man through illness. So illness causing changes in terms of your money, career, finances, um, relationship changes, um, job changes, career changes, you know, makes us feel in periods of limbo when we're just waiting for things to play out to align to the path that we need to be on. You know, it's that kind of energy. But there's definitely an energy with the hanged man of... Yeah, you might have been waiting, you might have experienced delays for any of those reasons that I've described. So waiting for something to happen, and that feels like the challenge. But right next to it, we have the breakthrough. Yeah, the information, the news. Um, some kind of break in the clouds. You know, the swords can be communication energy, the swords can be mental clarity. If you're looking at setting up a new business, for example, getting some idea on mental clarity to do that, um, to get you back on track. This can be some kind of breakthrough in terms of this night coming in and giving you some kind of information to do with offers, opportunities. There's definitely some breakthrough coming your way. So there's definitely an energy of the breakthroughs coming. Something that is bringing clarity. Between these two cards, I'm definitely getting some kind of epiphany. Something bringing real clarity. Where you haven't really been seeing how something's going to pan out because you've been waiting. All of a sudden, there's a break in the clouds. The thing, things are becoming clear in terms of how things are going to unfold. And that's what this Ace of Swords is bringing into you. The Knight of Swords is interesting because it feels like there's been lack of progress. And that has been the opportunity to overcome. Now, this can be further conversations or further news or um, a conversation that's needed here. Um, waiting to have, you know, some kind of conversation or communication with somebody, waiting to hear back. Maybe there was some kind of, or there is going to be some breakthrough and there's a, maybe a period of time where you might be waiting um, for some progress um, or some feedback, you know, or some second conversation to be had. It could be that kind of energy, Sagittarius, so just watch out for that. But there's definitely an energy of it's coming, but you just have to wait for things to play out this month. And that's the frustrating things with a hanged man. It is things need to be aligned, you know. So there could be one or two stages in this reading that you need to go through here before you get to the final result. The Queen of Wands is a leader, male or female energy. She could be offering you an opportunity. You know, this is somebody who is, generally it's Aries for me as a reader, but this can also be you, Sagittarius. There is a message uh, if it's to do with somebody, a fellow fire sign, for example, or somebody who represents the energy of the Queen of Wands, someone who is confidence, uh, sociable, gregarious, magnetic, charismatic, a go-getter, successful, driven, um, inspiring, you know, that kind of energy. So you might be meeting somebody who could be offering you something or influential in terms of bringing some kind of offer or an opportunity about a leader maybe. Now this can also be you, Sagittarius, being a fire energy. It's an energy of you back on your throne. It's an energy of you back in your power. Know your own power, your own capability, that when you really take action and go for what you want and you're driven to succeed, you will bring success in. You know, that is the dreams of abundance. You have the ability to make dreams a reality and that's what you're being told here. So I love the energy of that because the time is right. The setting is perfect. The soil is is fertile, the seeds are ready to be planted, there is real growth around you, potential, such potential. This is a big card of potential. Um, with the Empress, she is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, but planting new seeds for real growth 
and abundance so she is a great card of abundance she's also a great card if you've been healing from illness you know nurturing getting back to health um ready for for new experiences that kind of thing ready for planting new seeds now uh, she's very good in terms of being connected to money and career areas um so yeah the birth of something new in terms of money and career is coming your way definite kind of energy and you know the two of pentacles sagittarius there is definitely this energy because this is is your ruler jupiter in capricorn so you have the ability the practical resources the capability to bring growth into your life but there is a need to focus there is a need to prioritize there's definitely this energy of if you're feeling overwhelmed in a situation or feel that you have a lot on your plate even though this person walks a tightrope and juggles they're not dropping anything it's well within your capability to deal with um, can sometimes be a choice between two opportunities as well so that might resonate for you as well but this is the time is right to manifest the time is right for growth the time is right for abundance so i definitely see the the birth of something new coming your way there may well be some adapting that you need to do in your circumstances but it is definitely putting you back in your power front and center stage you will triumph over some kind of adversity there is some kind of dream goal that you're going for here and i see some break in the clouds some either epiphany or break in the clouds here where you haven't been able to see how something is going to unfold there is suddenly the clarity the path being revealed and then maybe some kind of just waiting on feedback or things or progress maybe maybe some stunted progress here but nevertheless nevertheless this can be a long-awaited offer opportunity so the opportunity is coming the offer is coming everything is right for planting new seeds the abundance is coming the growth is coming there is a need to be patient with the knight of knight of coins but there's definitely this energy of you are going to be back in your power i love the reading for that reason absolutely beautiful so i'm going to pull a final card what do we have as a final message money and career for sagittarius please angel spirits guides thank you yeah we have the swan graceful transformation soften your heart and find your flow and it, it is that kind of graceful transformation you know you what is it with the swans that we say you know they they glide on the surface but you don't see them paddling like hell under the surface you know and it, and it feels for some of you that everything might not be clear but it's happening things are moving in the right direction the change is coming i definitely feel some positive abundant change here uh, some shift between these two kind of energies um, so lovely lovely energy for that reason Sagittarius so I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time thank you